All right, hi everybody. In this video, we're gonna talk about what is x times x. So I think to start this discussion, let's start with what it's not. x times x is not 2x. So let's write that down for ourselves. x times x is not equal to 2x. Actually, x plus x is equal to 2x. And if you're unsure about why that is true, then go back, there's another video that I have that says, what is x plus x? So go check out that one and I'll be able to explain more in that, in that video why x plus x is equal to 2x. In this video, let's focus on, well, what is x, x times x? So x times x, we say is x squared, okay? So we say x times x is equal to x to the power two. And the reason why we write it like this is because of what the meaning of exponent is. So this exponent, this little number up here written on the top of the variable right there is called an exponent. And what that exponent is telling you to do is take whatever num number is underneath it called the base and multiply it by itself that many times. So really, x times x and x to the power two are really just two ways of writing the same thing. It's just a different way, of, different notation. It's a different way of writing it. The word squared actually comes from the geometric representation of what x times x is. Actually, it comes from the area of a square. So if you have a square that has side length five, for example, a square has uh, all the side lengths of a square are the same. So if this side is five, then this side is five too. And how you find the area of a square is by multiplying its length times the width, which are the same. So five times five is 25. In other words, this is five squared, five to the power two, which means multiply by five times itself, right? Now what this is, the geometric representation of this is, this is multiply a number times itself, but we don't know what the number is. So in other words, we have a square, but we don't know its si we don't know what its side length is. What we do know is that all the sides are the same length. So this side is the same as that side. And to find the area of this square, we would multiply this number by itself or length times width, which happens to be the same. So we would what we would have for the area of this square is x times x. And another way of writing that is x to the power of 2, because that means multiply this number, whatever it is, by itself. And that's this. Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.